I have no idea how this is possible, but it is hotter in Portland today than it was in Vegas yesterday. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Was super productive this morning, got a ton of stuff done, a ton of stuff that was stressing me out that needed to happen. Now getting out of the house, walking down to the coffee shop, gonna hang out there for the afternoon, grab some lunch, and do some more work. So I'm just about halfway through this daily vlog experiment, and I've been thinking about it, and I've come to a few realizations about the daily vlog idea and process that I wasn't necessarily expecting. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about what it's really like to do a daily vlog, how much work it takes, and if it's worth it. Just not seeing views like that in Las Vegas. So when I started this whole daily vlog thing, I thought for sure that as the weeks went on, my daily vlogs would get better and better and better. I thought my skills would improve, I thought the video quality would improve, I thought everything would get better. And I don't think anything's gotten worse, but I'm not sure it's gotten better for one big reason. And that's the fact that the more time I spend on the vlogs, the less time I'm spending on the rest of my business. And that's really starting to become an issue because I'm spending you know, two or three hours a day making videos, and that's two or three hours a day that I'm not doing things like responding to emails, creating products, writing blog posts. Um, and that's really starting to take its toll on me. It's leaving me a little bit stressed out because I feel like I need to be doing the things that are actually making money. So what's ending up happening is I'm rushing to get the videos done and edited, and I'm not trying new techniques, I'm not trying to be overly creative, I'm following a very specific template, banging it out and trying to move on to other things. And that was never the goal. The goal was to push my skills and to continue to be creative and not try and do the same thing every day and not try and just you know push it out because I had to. But two weeks in, there's definitely some days where I feel like I'm only doing this because I have to, I'm gonna stick to the goal, and that's been something that I didn't totally expect. I also don't think I was prepared for just how hard it can be to grow a YouTube channel. Um, I'm putting all of this time into the videos and the editing and the shooting and the story, you know, hours every day, but because of that, I'm not putting any time in to the marketing side of things. I'm not trying to do a whole lot to grow, you know, my subscriber base. I'm not doing any marketing around YouTube and it seems like such a waste because I'm putting all this time and effort into creating these videos yet I'm not really putting myself in a position to capitalize on them in the way that I feel like I should and that's where the weekly vlog posts I think going back if at the end of the 31 days I decide to just go back to the weekly model I think that's gonna give me some new perspective and it's gonna motivate me to want to put more time into the marketing side of things and to really trying to grow the channel because the reality is the types of videos I'm creating right now on a day-to-day -day basis those aren't the things that go viral like me hanging out with my family is not something that's gonna go viral um, some of the things might get some search traffic over time but if I really want to grow this I need to put more thought into some of the things that are gonna reach a larger audience so who knows maybe me going to Hong Kong will spur some ideas and that could be the thing that gets us over the hump. another thing that's a little bit of a surprise is I assumed the more videos I put out the higher view counts I'd get on each you know, subsequent video. But what's happened was my first few videos got 150, 200 views, and now the newer ones are getting less than 100. So I don't know if my content's that you know, less interesting or if people have just stopped caring. It's just simply the fact that I'm not doing any marketing around it. So to answer the question, I've been getting a lot. Am I gonna continue doing the daily vlog after the 31 day period? You know, the jury's out. I'm still not sure. I would say there's a very good chance I am gonna continue to at least do a weekly vlog because I wanna spend more time on the videos. I want to spend more time on the marketing of the videos and make sure that, you know, as many people are seeing them as possible. And uh, even though that's not the most important thing, we're gonna talk about why I think you should start a vlog. And no, it's not just because I started one. I think there's lots of really really good reasons to start a vlog. Not that anyone pays attention to mine anyway, but you know what? That's not the point. It's still worth doing even if people don't really pay attention to it. And I'm gonna tell you why. But I don't wanna just keep putting out mediocre content. I wanna make sure the stuff I'm putting out is good. And if I think I'm gonna be able to do a better job with the weekly vlog than a daily vlog, then that's probably the route I'll go. So today was awesome. Spent four hours working down at Barista on 23rd, got some exercise in, got totally caught up on work uh, after the long weekend. Now I'm gonna try and get ahead of the game so that when I go to Hong Kong next week, everything's in good shape. 
But uh, right now, I'm gonna sit here, maybe uh, do a little reading, do a little bit more work, enjoy my club soda, bitters, and lime, and uh, just soak this in. Because 85 degrees in Portland in April, global warming at its finest, I suppose. Cheers. Mm -hmm.